Global estimates by the World Health Organization indicate that one in three or 35 percent of women worldwide have experience either physical or sexual intimate partner violence or non-partner sexual violence in their life. This has been a major public health problem and a violation of women's human rights. The group aimed to know the status and severity of this concern in the locality of Gusa through interviewing the governing authority. Kung ano yun sila din sa barangay, ma-report sila nga sila i-abuso sila, amo sila matabangan, matagaan sila o protection. So kung i-abuso din siya, matagaan siya o kanang protection order. O wala mo kabalong sa protection order, muna siya ang barangay protection order na i-issue na sa barangay captain na ang, ang bana nga nag-abuso sa asawa, hindi siya makaduol sa iyong asawa. 50 meters for 15 days. O, kung iyan ang i-violate na nga kuan nga, nga balaod, pwede siya masumbong. Pero 15 days siya, dili siya. Kaya gikan sa BPO, makuha na siya ka ng pwede din mo apply ang babae sa temporary. Kaya kung gusto gid siya nga ma-permanente, kaya na kung mag-, mag file siya o case against sa iyang husband or sa iyang boyfriend or sa iyang live-in partner, pwede lang i-upon, pero sa court. A victim of this violence gave the group an opportunity to share her experiences. Let us hear her story. Hello, I'm Juliet. Uh, I, uh, I was a victim of uh, violence against women. I had a partner before who uh, took advantage of my weakness uh, he used to use me in the business uh, he used to uh, promise me that that business was our business so I worked hard until one day I just find out that he wanted to kick me he wants to kick me out so that was a very uh, that was very painful for me because I have a son to support. So, but I did not push through with my case because uh, it's kind of a scandal in my part. So, I just work hard, I just work hard, and you know, God is good and he helped me out with the business. It prospered. Um, uh, all I can say for all the women out there to take courage to speak out. Let, uh, don't don't be afraid to tell your family because the moment that you are afraid to tell your family your I call this the predator will uh, take advantage of it and they will the more it will abuse you so get out tell your story be heard so that you will be help but just people who know about the policy laws. I'm encouraging those women out there who are just quiet to speak out. Makabalog yun sila nga na ibalaod. Kalima, ano yung bausi nga maghatag yun o protection sa mga kababaihan na doon nagyoy. Republic Act na nang 9262 mo ginang balaod nga mo imuhatag o protection sa mga kababaihan in case maabuso sila either ka nang physical, emotional, psychological and financial abuse. Violence can negatively affect women's physical, mental, sexual and even reproductive health if such action sustains in the society. It can also inflict long-term consequences that might pose risk toward a woman's family and community. Moreover, 
fatal outcomes of suicide, unintended pregnancies, miscarriage, depression, post-traumatic stress, other anxiety disorders, and being subjected to alcohol and drug influences are more likely to be experienced by women. Cases like these are overwhelming. Be an advocate and stop violence against women. Enforce knowledge and diffuse awareness to catalyze a change that will make the society accept gender equality and the rights of women.